Welcome back to MVM Live this bright and cheery, juicy Wednesday. I was, oh. saw the comments already about oh, not people, talking. Are people making juice puns? Oh, I, I say let's make a little bit of juice puns. Also, just talking about the fact that <laughs> juicy is like one of those words that just makes you chuckle a little bit. I say it all the time, though. Juicy. Every, yeah, every time I talk, when, you know, when we're talking about board games, I will, whenever something ramps something up, I say that's a little little juicy. Oh yeah, like when you like put a lot of rewards on a card or a lot of coins on a card. Anything, even if a game gets more complicated, I I might say that. (laughs) I wonder if Juicy Fruits is gonna move yet. I'm rewatching a Juicy Fruit (laughs) commercial right now. Oh man, Gator Dave seems like he's in rare form already this morning. (laughs) By the way, thank you all. I would list you all, uh, but we don't have time for that. But all of you that tune in every week and on chit chat and all that really appreciate it so thanks for tuning in again. yeah thank you guys so much for being here obviously with us here this wednesday we are going to play juicy fruits uh here in a second but before we do just a few things we want to say first of all big thank you to all of our sponsors one of of course being game toppers who we always give a big thank you to and the other two osprey games last week they sponsored a giveaway of imperium classics and i didn't do the little the little button and i'm sorry but i have the winner right here it is stephen hanbury Thank you so much, Stephen, for commenting and joining us on the live stream. And congrats, Stephen. Uh, So you have won Imperium Classics. Please email us at manversusmeeple at gmail.com. We'll get all your information and everything, and we'll get that uh, Imperium out to you as soon as it's available to ship. So hopefully that'll be soon. Uh, Today, of course, we're doing Juicy Fruits, which is a a game about growing fruit, selling fruit, turning fruit into juice. Yeah, we have our own little tropical island, and we're trying to... uh... Get a bunch of fruits. It's the first time in my life that I could ever say I have a tropical island. But is it? Oh, I've, I've yeah. said that at least five times. We've got a lot of tropical islands. Yeah. So we're gonna obviously we're gonna give away a copy of Juicy Fruits as well because we like to do that. So please keep commenting just like you guys are. You're all already entered. Anyone that comments over the course of the stream will be entered as well. But let's take a look at, at Juicy Fruits. So you're gonna see a few things, and don't worry, we're gonna zoom in to, to the board yes, because you will see these much better. This player board is where the actual game is gonna happen. Of course, you this is me right here on the right side. This is me. That's David over there. And then we've got the market board uh, where you're gonna buy tiles for your private island. And then we've got basically the score track over here. Up and at the, the top, and the juice factory. Yeah, there's the juice factory up at the top, which they say is optional yeah. uh, for like advanced play, but there's no reason I wouldn't use it. I think it's a great addition to the game. Well, no, it should be said this is part of Capstone's family line. Sure. Um, and while I would say this definitely falls into the family weight, I'd say maybe even with the juice factory with some families, probably without with others. Uh, the mechanics are very, very simple, and I think that's what it makes it feel like a family way yeah. game. And in fact, you'll see in the first round, you'll be like, oh, that's all you're doing? And yes, that is all you're doing. But the thinkiness and the things, the, the variety of things that you can do with the, can we just keep saying juicy fruits? Juicy fruits. With the juicy fruits that you collect, uh, make this a little bit more of a game that I think enthusiasts can also enjoy. We played it the other night yeah. with a friend of ours, none of which are part of our own families. Sure. Uh, our own little MVM family, I guess. Uh, but we all enjoyed it. It's a it's a fun little game, and that's why we chose it to play today. Yeah. So in this game, you're gonna see this is like kind of a puzzly game. You're you're actually just shifting these tiles around to produce fruits. And we have what bananas, oranges, pomegranates, limes, and mango mangosteen, which we, is the fruit I wasn't even aware of. Nope, neither was I. So this game has already educated me on I mean, tropical fruits. I assume fruits. it's somewhat like a mango. I don't, it doesn't look like a mango. That's true, it doesn't. It's purple. So So we're going to be moving these tiles around to collect fruits. And then we're going to spend those fruits to either buy new tiles for our board. Businesses. Businesses, I'm sorry. To buy new businesses. Maybe to make ice cream or to make juice. So those are the things we're going to be doing. Or selling them off our island with these little boats. See these boats that are around the island? Selling off to these boats is super important (laughs) because every time you ship a boat off... It clears another space for you to move tiles around. And you'll see pretty quickly why that becomes so important. So you're balancing between um, sending off these boats and then getting these businesses that are up here. And these businesses all um, cost a different amount of fruits. The game ends as soon as this seven is down to this X. And there's a variety of things that are going to move that down. Basically, anytime you see a little metal, it's going to move it down. 
Uh, Tiff, I did make all the ice cream last time we played. It was not a viable strategy. Well, you have to also do other things. You, 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 you can't just make ice it cream. It probably is a viable strategy. What Ryan touched on a second ago, when you move these boats, we're moving these tiles around to collect yeah. things. So we're limited on space at the beginning, but as soon as you move boats, you're able to move those uh, collector tokens a lot further and yeah. get a bunch more fruit in one turn. So, so you, you really you have balance. you have to do the boats. You can't ignore the boats and just do ice cream. Yeah, and then some of the business tiles will come out here too, and some of them are better collectors tokens, but some of them are just businesses that will sit in a place and kind of block up yeah. and clog up your board. So you probably don't want to pivot to those until later, but you want to do it before anyone else does. All right, who's going first? Uh, I'm going to let you go first, so flip over your postcard. You guys can't really see this from that view, but you have this little postcard. If you flip the first players over, it's got a little player one on there, which is nice. Cute. So, All right, so let's see. So basically, all you do on a turn, you just move one of these tiles, and you're going to gain as many fruits as you moved it. So I'm going to move my banana one space, and I'm going to get a banana. All right, there you go. See? Very family white banana. already. Um, let's see. I'm going to take a look at my boats really quick here and see what is cooking uh i'm gonna move oh richmond has played the game already i'm gonna move this orange and take one orange richmond i hope you had a really juicy experience playing the game oh boy that All was right. that was that was i'm gonna move fruit. i'm gonna move this down one and take a lime i'm gonna buy a tile i'm gonna spend a banana and a lime to come shopping up here i'm gonna take this business tile i can't even see those there's this Ryan... business tile gives me uh, either limes or bananas when it moves. So I'm going to have to add this to my board. I'm going to add it right here. And it gives me a lime or a banana when I buy it. I want a lime, actually. Oh, really? Okay. I'm going to take the lime. Yeah, that's nice because he can has flexibility, plus he's going to get an extra one yeah, every time he moves that'll be it. nice. I am going to move the... What did we decide this was? Pomegranate? It's pomegranate. Ooh, the pomegranate, two spaces... And get two pomegranates. However, I could I could have handed those to you. I'm gonna take those two pomegranates and oh. this orange. There you go. What are you gonna do? And I'm going to deliver to this ship. Okay. Oh, you know what we've forgotten to do? What? On um, several turns now. Although we wouldn't have done this because we really couldn't have the juice factory. I'm not doing the juice factory on purpose. At all? Okay. I haven't. Well, I, I want to explain to everybody. You're gonna move a token. After that, you're either going to deliver to a boat or acquire a uh, business token or move on the juice factory no oh. and then the third thing well, is sure. to potentially move on the juice factory by the way did you take your points for oh i didn't i got one should have gotten one point for yeah. buying that tile you got one point and you got that. two points and for I your got boat two points for this boat we're just speeding along i i just ha i haven't wanted to make juice yet because i'm keeping my fruits for a specific reason and it might be to make ice cream but it might not be you'll have to watch and see all right i'm gonna Move this twice to get two oranges. Can I have two oranges, please? There you go. Thank you. Anything else? I'm Yes. I'm going to buy a boat myself. I'm going to spend an orange and a lime to get this little one-point boat out. It's just one point for me. That's not a bad position. But it frees up this space. So can you give Red one point, please? So if you see what I did um, by buying this boat, I've left a gap now. I can make a little... I can do a little more with you my pomegranates. A little... little more room. <clears throat> a little more room for my pomegranates to grow. Oh, boy. Man, I really want to go get a smoothie after this. Like a nice like tropical fruit smoothie is what I'm feeling. I am going to... Mm. What? Mm -hmm. I'm going to move my mangosteen up and get two mangosteens. Gator Dave, I don't think I remember those commercials. Anyone remember the... Jack Lalane? La Oh, sure. Jack LaLanne. <laughs> oh, Jack LaLanne. Yeah, he's an old, Two like, pomegranates uh, for me. Think of, like, Regis Philbin, but I miss Regis. jacked up completely. That is literally... <laughs> like the Hulk? Like if Regis Philbin was for, the Hulk? For those of you who don't know who Jack LaLanne is, Google him right now and tell me if he looks like Regis Philbin all jacked up. <laughs> like if Regis Philbin took steroids. Pretty much. I mean, I didn't want to go there, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty right. much. Go ahead. Uh, I took two mangosteen. Did you do a thing? I did. I took two, oh, okay. two pomegranates. Hmm. Did he well, always wear a blue jumpsuit suit? Uh, stuff like that. I'm going to move my banana and get one. Richmond says he was 100% sure you would get the reference. <laughs> oh, is that Richmond? That's yeah, right? Richmond's in there. No. Oh, but it was yeah. Gator Dave who made that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You did. What'd you do? 
I did a thing. I got a banana. All right. I'm going to get two oranges. If I could have two oranges, please. I'm actually going to spend them. I'm going to spend two oranges and two pomegranates to get this nice little four-point boat delivered. That's two oranges and two pomegranates. So can you give me four more points, please? Yes. I feel like Ryan... So when we played this the other night... I'm I doing want, a different strategy. I just strategy. wanted to be known that I did beat Ryan. Oh, you crushed me. He might beat me today, though. Uh, I'm, I, gonna... I'm like the Terminator. I saw strategy and I adapted to it. <laughs> I'm going to move my banana up to... Get two bananas, and now I'm going to. Well, deliver I don't know. You're doing pretty good, right David. Here. Already. Two bananas, and get this for four points. You're doing. You're doing pretty good. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. You've got. A, we're tied points wise. We got a lot of boats delivered. All right. Now I have this free. I, mean, I have this whole two. little free row here. So I'm gonna get two more pomegranates. Can a two pomegranates and an orange get me anything? Yes, it could get me. Oh, some points tiles that just literally sit there and clog up my board and do nothing else. This one is four points for every I'll for every boat up. you've delivered. No, for every beach that's cleared. No. Nope. Yeah, for every beach. Yes, which that is, is the beach chair. You rental. could get twelve points. That's or, not bad. Although that's a lot of boats. That's a lot of boats. What's that? That's the one on the top. That's the one here. Uh, what's the one on the top? Is this just... one is. Oh, it lets oh, you score the, for your bottles at the end of the game. The oh, stand. that's the lemonade stand. That's the lemonade you score points stand. for how far. And I haven't even been doing my bottle. You know what? Now I want to save these pomegranates. No, I I think I can give up one. I'm gonna give up one pomegranate to move on the juice bar. So move one of my guys. Just one. Yeah, move me up to that two pointer at the top there. So you're whenever you're spending fruit into the juice factor, you're basically moving your discs along. Some of the points that you or some of the spaces you land on will get points, which is what I just did for two points or you could get a move down the middle and rush to the end which is we're worth more points but i'm taking my time all right um i am going to move my banana down three uh, nice I want it? no i'm not i'm gonna get move those my bananas lime over three. Oh, you want that lime and banana you want that so, that lemonade factory don't maybe, you maybe maybe um lemonade stand but right now i'm going to actually spend two limes and a banana oh really what are you getting to deliver oh, a boat? another two-point boat so you're clearing off your boats really fast. Well, I mean, I've just got one more than you. All right, I'm going to gain two pomegranates. So now I've got three pomegranates. Yeah, I'll say, I don't know if anyone's mentioned this, but the the feeling of playing this feels almost like you're playing an app game. Yeah. Like you're moving these things around collecting. Uh, but the using of them is pretty cool because there's quite a bit more to do with them than I first expected. Richmond, if you want to talk about slide puzzles... We, David and I just did a video for the game Oros, which is the entire <laughs> game is one crazy slide puzzle. Kind of, yeah. Very different than this kind of slide puzzle, but it's, it, check out that video that we did because it's, it's, it's a brain burner of sliding tiles All around right, the board. I'm going to move my banana down here and take three bananas. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. And I'm going to spend this lime. Ooh. Um, Where are you going to go? I'm going to spend that to move Are both of my tokens. If you turn, if you start your uh, turn with both of your juice factory tokens on top of each other, you can move them together, but only pay the cost once. Yeah. So I'm nice. going to go ahead and move them all the way up Ooh, to here by paying one fruit, basically. Yep. Well done. All right, I'm going to move my banana lime. So I get two uh, sp spaces, but I actually get a third space. So I'm going to take two bananas and one and lime. a lime. But I'm yeah, actually going to spend nice. two bananas. And three pomegranates to get the six-point boat out. Oh, and you've got that whole beach cleared. I do have that whole beach cleared. That feels like you're going to be going after a certain tile. Could be. Possibly. Could be. But six points for red. Getting those boats out early is just really useful. And that's what I didn't do last time I played. Anything else? That's it for me. Okay. Um, hmm. I need some. I need some more stuff. Some limes. Interesting. Do I have a plan here? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I do or not. So taking those businesses seems smart, but like they clog up spaces on your board. And so you're like, I don't know. All right. I'm going to get three, Tip, three limes. Tip says you should steal that cleared beach tile away from me just because. Just because. He that's might. Not, that's not how I play typically. Depends on if David's planning on clearing I his might. beaches or I not. I am going to spend three limes and three bananas to clear this eight-point boat. Oh, boy. And now you have a whole banana row. Look at that. 
Yeah. You could just shoot your banana up and down that row. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need some bananas. So I'm going to get... I'm going to do this. One, two. And I'm going to get three bananas. So can you hand me a third banana? Because I had a couple hanging out over there. There should... If only you said second banana. Second there's, banana? There's been a joke there. <laughs> there's already a joke there. All right, go ahead. You're not doing anything with all that I'm juicy fruit? You know what? I will spend one lime. Oh, I didn't mean to actually encourage you. I'm going to move, because I don't need that lime. I'm going to move one to the one-pointer there and just get one point. All right. That's how that works. That's it. It's a one-point one point spend. Okay. Now, let's now, see what I can whoop, do. Banana flu. Stop giggling, Gator Dave says. <laughs> I mean, you can only bring up the word juicy fruits and so many times. I, that name just makes me want to chew gum or go get a smoothie, like I said. like. I'm going to move my mangosteen down and get two. I haven't even gotten a single the mangosteen end. yet, I don't think. I'm going to move my orange two spaces, get two oranges, and I'm going to spend three oranges and three bananas to take one of these tiles. This one. You son of a gun. And you know what we didn't do? I didn't move this down. Each time you take a tile, you should move it down. So So Ryan's going to crush because he's clearly taken the two nice I, tiles I, there. It sat there for a while. I, really, I know. I was working towards it. I was just waiting to try to get some space to gotcha. get three I'm oranges. I'm going to get a lime here. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Well, that changes things a little bit. I am going to move my passion or... Pomegranate over two. I'm going to get two, but I'm going to trade it in with these mangosteens to get rid of this four. Nice. So you're, you're shooting ahead of me on the score. I don't know what you're worried about. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to gain two pom two uh, pomegranates for myself. So i got two pomegranates and a lime. Uh, I will spend the lime to move one of my juice bottle things up to the next juice space. It doesn't matter to me which one. There we go. Perfect. I'm, I can't really reach it. All right. And what am I going to do with these pomegranates? Uh, what do you think I'm going to do with these pomegranates? I don't know. Zoom in on my board here so people can help me. I, oh, are you need, you're going to ask I'm, the I'm, audience? I'm enlisting the help. No, I'm just Tiff kidding. Tiff has uh, apparently kidding. had mangosteen. I've, Tiff, tell us in the comments. She says it tastes nothing like mango. Interesting. <laughs> what does it taste like? I, I've never, I'm, I've never had it. seems bizarre to me. I am going to go... One, two, three, Lucho says, four. can't wait for the gush Gushers expansion. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Gushers. I got four bananas, um, and I'm going to spend two of them. Yep. I want to take both two-point spots up there. To go there and there for to, four points. To spread out your thing. Nice. Look at that. You were so worried about me. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Although, I mean, you would have those tiles, but... It does clog your board up right. a little bit more. So I'm going to get an orange, thing. and I'm going to spend two pomegranate and an orange. I'm going to get that one that scores for my cleared beaches, and I'm going to put it right there. So right now it's only worth me four points at the end of the game, but it could be worth more as we go. If I can clear off another beach. Indeed. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to move my pomegranate over and get two, but I'm going to trade one in with this banana. Nice. To get another boat? To get another boat for one point. You're almost cleared off all your boats, haven't you? Mm, I mean, no, but I'm getting <laughs> maybe half of them. I'm going to get one, two, three oranges. You've got a nice big space down here at the I bottom. I do, and I'm, I'm taking advantage of this big space at the bottom. For sure. Okay, now. Oh, it's, um, a, it's a popular fruit in Asia, in, in South and East Asia, which I guess makes sense. I'm going to move the banana down. One, two, three, four. Four Look at that. You're getting, you're got a banana engine going like and crazy. And I'm going to spend. It requires the banana to move up to the next level, right? Where you're at. Or, yeah. So I'm going to spend both bananas to move here. Now, when you move into one of these tanks with the four circles, you have to move one disc, and I'll get those two points. One, two. But the other disc of mine has to go on my. Other yeah, you line. can't block, which is less of a big deal in two-player games. Because there's only two of us, but you you can't just block all the spaces, basically. Correct. All right, what was I going to do? Oh, I'm going to do bananas. I'm going to get one, I've ignored the two, market so far. three, By the four way, did things. You... Did I move it back down one more? Did you move it down? Oh, uh, I didn't. Down? Oh, man, this game's going. Yeah. Well, I've been keep, buying a lot of those tiles. There, as long as I'm ahead of you, you can buy all the things. So I got four of these. So I'm going to get uh, 
two bananas, and two limes. And then a bonus. No, that is the boat. I got oh, four, I total. four total. One, two, three, plus four. I'm going to spend two bananas and an orange. Uh, so let's do that to get rid of this two-point tile here, which just gets me two points, unfortunately. Nothing great. All right. I'm going to move my pomegranate over two mm -hmm. um, and take two pomegranate, but I'm going to just hand them in with... So three pomegranate and three bananas to get rid of this eight-point You're going to have boat. all your... You are crushing me now. Well, I'm jumping out to a lead anyway. <laughs> That's for sure. I think I'm going to just move this one space. It's going to give me one mangosteen, and it's going to give me a second mangosteen. With these two oranges, it's actually just going to give me this boat for four points. So, four points for me. All right. I, I can't reach. I'm closing the gap. 21 to 36. Uh, Go ahead. I'm going to move... My lime over one mm -hmm. to get one lime. To get one lime. Is that all you're doing? Which you're is a use weird it? thing, but I am going to use it to, to move up to the move up to this two spot. Right and get here. two more points. And get two more points. Man, David, you got a thing going here. I'm just gonna move this over here and get a, a lime and a banana. Seems kind of dumb, but and I'm gonna use this banana to move my second disc up, and it'll be with my first disc. So I, I got some catching up to do there. I mean there, for sure. Uh, I'm going to move my lime up three and take three limes, please. Are you going to use them? I am not. Let's see. You need oranges to get any further on the juice track. I'm going to... Mm, do I have anything that uses... Jeremy Howard comes in also says Juicy Fruits is going to move you. I'm not going to use them for anything. Juicy Game Boy <laughs> that gets right to you. Oh, oh ju boy. You're not going to use oh, anything? Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to go... One, two, three. So I'm actually going to get four. So I'm going to take three mangosteens. Um, is that... And a lime? And... Well, I mean, it's a lime. I guess a lime, yeah. I'm, but I'm actually going to spend three limes and three mangosteens to get this eight-point boat. Eight, point eight mm. points for red, please. Nice. I'm catching up to you. I've also just cleared my second beach. That's pretty impressive. And you already have that beach. I'm going to use this lime to move my guys up to the two-point space there and get two points. And what, it takes a banana to get back from there? It takes a banana right. to move on. Okay. I'm going to move this banana up three. Yep. You get three bananas? Get three. Well, I guess I have them over here. I have some over here, too. Uh, and banana, we got fruits everywhere. And then I'm going to spend a banana and a lime. Yeah. To take... This token here. Uh, what do I need? Where do I want to put that? I here. didn't realize I buried my pomegranate, which is a problem. Oh, uh, no, I can't move up. I completely buried my pomegranate. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gain one, two, three, four oranges. I need one more orange from you because I had three there. I'm just going to gain four oranges. And I can't use them to move up the juice stand. No, you need so bananas. I have to have bananas. So I'm just done. That's it, four oranges. All right. Now. Oh, that needs to move down because I took a oh, tile. Oh, you took a tile too? Yep. How many tiles have we got gone? One, two, three, four? Uh-huh. One, two, three, four. Yep. So we're, we're really crawling down. We're crawling. A couple more it. there. Yeah, if we buy a couple more tiles. Um, I'm going to move my orange one, two, three and take three oranges. And I'm going to spend two of them to move here and here. Nice. For five points. Okay. I'm going to move this one up one, two, three spaces, which is actually gets me four. So I definitely want two mangosteen and two limes. So I'm going to spend, I'm not, no, I'm not going to spend anything. I think I don't have any bananas to spend. Oh, but I can do, and I don't have any bananas. Wow. That's poor planning on my part. All right. I'm dumb. Okay. Oh, uh, I wish I had one of those. Juicy. Double tiles? Double tiles. I bought them both. Tiff, the in-game condition is this little trigger hitting the X. And it triggers every time we do something that gives us an award. We've been getting awards for potentially buying these um, buildings. And uh, we get awards if we reach the end of the bottling, juice bottling track, too. So, I did trap my pomegranate. It's lonely here. Um, let's see. 
What are you going to do, David? I'm a pickle. You I'm are in a pickle. I'm going to move my mangosteen over two and take two mangosteens, and then I'm going to spend a mangosteen and an orange Kay. to fulfill this one boat. For one point? For one point. Then... Oh, no. I'm going to use one mangosteen. Oh, to move up to the next to level? move this to the next level. All right. I'm going to move my banana lime thing, one, two, three spaces, which actually gets me four. I want three bananas and a lime. Can I have three bananas, please? And I'm going to spend uh, two bananas and two limes to move this one, which gets me four points. It's another four-point boat. And then I'm going to spend one banana to move both of my guys to the next spot. Nice. Uh, to the two, I assume? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, to the one that gives me two points, for sure. I don't want to leave those you points on the table. You can take one of the other ones. Okay. Got to get serious here. Um, yeah, it's time. It's time to get serious. Robert, it is quite the puzzle. I mean, trying to figure out how do you want to move these tiles around, where you want to move them. Um, is it your screen? There are oranges, Tiff. There are oranges and pomegranates. Yeah. So it, the pomegranates look pretty red to me on my screen. That's a pomegranate. So, I don't know. Hmm. And this is my pomegranate tile here. You can kind of see that. It looks... I mean, I can see where it maybe could look a little orange compared to the actual orange, which is up there. I'm going to move my mango steens over and take three. Nice. Are you done? And uh, I might not be. I'm going to spend one... Nope, that's all I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to move my pomegranate one. I'm going to spend a banana to oh, move sorry. up here, though. Sorry. I'm going to go one, two, three on my pomegranates. And I'm going to buy a uh, uh, business. I'm going to spend two pomegranates oh. and two mangosteens to buy this 18-pointer. So these buildings are different. They don't just come out onto your board. They actually give you... One of these buildings that runs around the side. This one's worth 18 points, but I have to have a space to put it. So unfortunately, that means my board is basically clogged big, up. Though. But 18 points is pretty big. What so was I at? 37? 37, 47 plus 8, yep. 55. He's taking the lead, everybody. Unfortunately, now this whole area of my board is pretty much... Uh, and that moves down. Done, and this moves down to 2. I have a lime, so let's go ahead and just move my guys forward onto the two-pointer that's in the next bottle. Not the three-pointer. Right, the two-pointer in the next bottle. Oh, I see. Yeah, right there. Two points. Yeah, that was a big one for 18 points. There's still a 10.1 and a 5.1. The 5.1 is, uh, is just one little tile that sits there. 18 points, Tiff, but you have to have the space to put it, and then it clogs up your board. So my board is, this whole area that I was abusing of moving these things around is okay. now I'm locked out. Move so move my orange over four and get four oranges. Nice. And then I'm going to spend two of those oranges and three pomegranates, or not pomegranates, but mangosteens, to fulfill this six-point boat. Oh, nice. So you're and, catching right up. And then I'm and going then, to spend... These two limes to move this yellow one up to this two spot. And get two more points. You were worried. You're catching right up. What are you worried we'll about? We'll see. We'll see. All right. I am going to move this double bonus tile there. One, two. And it, so it actually gets me three. I want two limes. And I actually think three limes. But I'm going to spend two of them. And I'm going to spend two oranges to get this four point boat out. Trying to clear a second beach. Four points. Yep. So we could give me four points. And then I am going to move in the juice section. I'm going to move to the next space. To the next space. That's two points. Down in the little. Oh, okay. Yeah, right down With there. With both? With both. So All that's right. two points. There are reasons you wouldn't want to move them together, but I'm trying to get them up to the higher pointing uh score sections and yeah if i had if i had done that with that pomegranate right there without thinking about it it basically would have been a dead tile which would have been very sad uh, because as it is it's going to be difficult for me to get pomegranates i don't really need those 
but it will help me get the things out of the way. I'm going to move this banana down mm -hmm. three and get three bananas. Well done. Um, does that let me do anything? Not really. Okay, are you done? Yep. I'm going to move this uh, mango, steen, and lime one two spaces, which is actually going to get me three. So I've got a lime. So actually, I'm going to get take three mango steens. All right. Are you doing anything with them? Uh, no, not currently. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to move this pomegranate over. Yep. Three. Can I get three pomegranates? You can. Three pomegranates for you. And I'm going to do some things. Yeah, this, I mean, I, I said the same thing, Funky, Sai. Like, like, when you start playing it, you're like, oh, okay. When you're looking at the cover, you're like, okay, well, is this a capstone game? Like, does it have that same kind of puzzly feel that you get from a lot of capstone I'm games? I'm going to spend each of the, oh, no. And I think the answer is yes. Yes, it, it really does. I'm going to spend one of those uh, pomegranates to get, three to, points. to get the six points. Oh, to get six points. Look at that. You're going to be caught right back up. And that was, uh, do I have a, no, I don't. That's it. Okay, I'm going to move this uh, one, two, three. So it's actually four. So I'm going to take three bananas and a lime. All right, I'm done. I need some pomegranates. Hmm. What do you got, David? Stuff. I know you got stuff. I'm going to move my mangosteen over four. And get four mangosteens? And get four mangosteens. That's a, quite a few. And... It's quite a few mangosteens. I'm going to spend one of them mm -hmm. to move up here. Nice. And then I'm going to spend two oranges... Oh no, so you're like, spot. we're close to the tr trigger in the end of the game, so I'm going to have to change my strategy a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. I think, I, I don't know what the end of game scoring is going to be like for either of us, but it's going to be close. I'm getting one pomegranate, thought, and I'm going to spend two pomegranates and two bananas to get this four point tile. Another boat off, four points. Oh, nice. And I cleared another beach. The thing is, I really wanted to get that uh, uh, ice cream tile. But if I do, it's going to put us down on the one, and then you're going to end the game. And I'll never get to actually make ice cream. Yeah, we'll, so that's we'll, kind of sad, because I really wanted to make some ice cream. We'll see. I need... <laughs> Luby. I was... Luby made a comment. Does this game let you put the lime in the coconut? And I... I was going to make that I, joke earlier. I, yes. There's so many. <laughs> So many good fruit references to make here. I mean, we definitely have the limes. We're just missing the coconuts. I like the Gushers references the most, I think. Yeah, those are pretty pretty solid. Um, I'm going to move. Oh, that's problematic. Is it? What else do you have cooking? I, I was going to do ice cream. I'll tell you. I was getting ready to buy the ice cream tile. But then I realized that if I buy the ice cream tile, it drops us down to one award left. And you could just end the game. And when you end the game, you play equal turns. Since I started, David would have ended it. And then I would, I, as soon as I buy that ice cream tile, it's game over. David's not going to so let me I'm finish. I'm going to go lime. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So I get three limes. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I took two already. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to spend three limes and two mangosteens mm -hmm. to acquire this guy. Oh, dang. For uh, 10 points. Which is the 10.2 tile. Could you hand mm -hmm. me that? It's the, the little yep. one. For 10 points. For 10 points. Uh, I'll put that right here. Uh, here. It doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. And you should have gotten, uh, you should get four more points for that. Oh, yeah. Did you give me anything? No, I, f I f forgot all about those points. Ten, one, two, three, four. Have you gotten some throughout? Uh, yeah. So I should be, I should get three more. For buying my, I only gave myself 18 points. Okay. I should have technically given myself 21. Um, so that was my action, and now I'm going to spend the one, and so that goes, yep, did that one go down to one? You did. And then I'm going to spend one mangosteen 
to go here and for get four points. those four points. Nice. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, that's the end of the game, really, that right? Is, that is the end of the game. I'm going to get eight points. That's so what your thing one, is worth? Yep. I'll be at 78, and that's all it gets me. Wait, how many did you get? I, oh, no. I should clear. I'll get yeah, four yeah, more. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh. So we're up. both at 82. And I get oh, you still points for my highest juice bar. Oh, so you st I didn't realize you took that one, too. I should have stolen that one so away So I had from the you. lemonade stand. That gets uh, you, you points for your... You only use the lemonade stand if you are using the, uh, yeah. the juice factory. At the end of the game, gain the points shown on the bottle beneath each of yep. your factory discs. So you get, so I get nine eight, more points. Nine more points. I really should have done that ice cream one turn sooner. I had all these extra fruits I didn't even use. Look at all these extra fruits I had. And that's it. That's it. So 91 that was, to 82. Uh, that was uh, a lot more interesting game than I thought. I thought you were going to destroy me. I Why? genuinely I, did. You were, I told you, you were getting those boats out so quickly, you were getting a lot of points. Yeah, well, you got the boats out quite a bit. And you, you ended up getting out so many boats. I really wanted that 10 point. I was just one turn too slow on getting that 10 pointer. Well, that's what I thought towards the end. I thought, well, if I don't get the 10 point, because I wanted the 8 points. Yeah. But I didn't have enough mangosteens, and I thought, you know what? If I go for the eight points, he's going to grab the ten on the next turn. If I could have, I really I wanted to do ice cream. I got, I got two back into that idea of like trying to make ice cream. I just didn't. Yeah, I, we didn't do any ice cream, everybody. Well, there was only one ice cream tile. There probably. was only one ice cream business on the board. Yeah. Period, and it's the one and to make the most the expensive one. ice cream. And I really wanted it, but I was just like. You were going to end the game before I could use it, and it just seemed like a waste. Yeah, just so you know, when you set up the board, the businesses that you put out here, there's a lot more than this, obviously, and you just randomly put out the ones that you put out. And in this case, we only got one of those ice cream stands, but there's so many different ice creams that you can make, but you have to have one of those ice cream stands on your board and move it to actually use it and make ice cream. And then you have to you know, trade in fruit. But it can be big points, because this blue stand makes ice cream that's 16 points. Yeah. But you have to trade in one of every fruit to do so. Yeah, I probably should have bought more buildings. There was one there with five points, and I forgot it also gives you five points. That would have yeah. been ten points, actually. We may have missed some points along the way it's, there. It's possible. I know I bought, I don't, I don't know how many tiles I bought. One, two only? No, two. I bought four tiles from there. Oh, yeah. So, it's possible, but it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, and this is the first time, I mean, I didn't. I don't think any of us who played the other night got to the top went, of the juice. Well, we certainly didn't get to the top, but we didn't even get as far as what we just did. No, I yeah, I shouldn't have let you have that lemonade stand because I saw you pushing up there. I think that's one of the elements too. Like uh, you have to watch what other people are doing, so it's yeah. not just like a solo solo game. Like I didn't realize David was so close to buying that ten pointer. Maybe I shouldn't have been trying to buy it by building. Like I could have gotten different resources and bought a different thing, right? But I was racing for the same thing. Just not as efficient. Well, I got to be honest. I wasn't even thinking about that 10-pointer until you reminded me that those things were a, a thing. Yeah, that 18.1 18 18 was great. Point. When we played the other night, the 18.1 uh, wasn't in the game, right? Well, because it's hard to... No, the 18.1 one was not because the tiles, the business tiles that come out are random. So you don't always see every business tile so that every time you play the game, it's a little different. And they're always going to be different positions. So they're going to earn you different or cost you different fruits each time too, so... Yeah, so I'd say this is. Uh, wouldn't you say this is family plus? I would. I would. I see why they would call it their family game because you could definitely, yeah. well, especially in capstone scheme. Of games. Right, especially in capstone. I mean, you could play this with older family. Like I would say, older kids, but younger kids that can just move things around and take fruit. Like as long as you're giving them the fruit and they're playing with the fruit, like they're gonna have a good time. Well, yeah, the, you, just, the, you just have to be careful not to just crush your kids. The, at the moving game. around and collecting of fruit is very simple. It's the deciding how to most efficiently and best use those fruit to do all these different things. Because I mean, really, there's the juice factory, there's the businesses, there's making ice cream with the businesses, and then, of course, shipping to the boat. Right, and it's just like with any family game. Like, you got to be, you got to know your family. If well, sure. <laughs> you just don't want to, like, employ your game-breaking strategy against your, like, six-year-old kids. Like, Well, the good news, though, is compared to the games that I played when I was a kid, which are built for fighting. You mean, like, Risk? Yeah, well, no, not like Risk. Oh, I'm before about, Risk. Like, sorry. Things oh like well, yeah, this, like trouble and which sorry, is just and, like where being it's like uh, to each other. <laughs> knocked you off, or like uh, uh, what's the one where you little move, trouble where you move the yeah yeah. I hate it. those games, man. I mean, they were great when you're kids. The, now that I'm older, I think I have trauma, which is why I don't like player elimination, because there's nothing more frustrating than having your piece knocked all the way back to the beginning. I mean, you tuned in for juicy fruits, but now you're getting a philosophical conversation about sorry. Maybe you know, the most sarcastic. I read a game. really interesting article about why those games are so good for kids because they teach you early, like from a young age, how to lose. Like they teach Do you they? how to deal. Well, that's, 
We'll I see. I think they teach you that you can lose. It just depends on the degree to which someone says, oh, sorry. <laughs> right. All right, well, guys, that was Juicy Fruits. Um, I think the game is coming out or out, or it's, it'll be out at some point. Um, yeah, we will put that Shipping is comments. all a mess right we'll now. We'll put so. that in the comments below, yeah. but it's coming. And, uh, yeah, make sure and comment below for a chance to win a copy. Yeah. Uh, and we'll get that out to you. Just comment below. We'll pick someone and uh, announce it next week. All right, bye, everybody. Bye-bye.